What's going on guys? Here with another video. We're gonna be doing a pretty much follow from the other video. We're gonna be doing the subs. So we got the door speakers already on the truck. So now our next mod for the truck would be the subwoofers. So we got some 12s. It's perfect actually. And we got the other speakers. So these speakers did come from uh from the from the trailblazer a long time ago. So these speakers kind of been down the road. They had I took one of them out to put in the vet, so I had one of them in the vet, and then another one I gave to my cousin with another box. So my brother went and bought another one. So these are kicker comps. We got the amp kit right there, and then we got this DS18. How many watts is this one, Vic? Six thousand. God damn, six thousand. Got a good deal on it. Okay. Oh, that's the one that. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Uh, so this is six thousand watt amp uh, DS18. So that's what we're gonna be installing. So I think the first thing we're gonna do. Oh yeah, we got another bezel. That's right. Because the bezel that when we ever did the the stereo, the other one actually cracked. So we got another one already. So we're just gonna, I guess, what we're gonna do first. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Shit, <laughs> Memorial Day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, I guess we don't know what the hell we're about to do. One of the big things, <laughs> we're already, god damn it. One of the things we're looking at, we're trying to figure out we're going to run this power. So some of y'all that know, I'm just trying to get this camera to turn around, god damn. So we're trying to run it through the firewall, but we might have to drill a hole just to get it to run. Or we already kind of have a pre-existing hole on that side. So we might have to run the power cable across. But Yeah, the only thing is, uh, it's a big old big long truck you know yeah so I know we don't have enough room gonna be long enough. No. i mean we could probably extend it we got more yeah cable laying around but i just don't like the idea of running it yeah that looks kind of ghetto running across i mean i've seen it before i mean it's kind of tacky so we're gonna try to shoot it just from this side and then try to shoot it over here but if worse comes to worse then we're gonna have to go this time but we'll see so we got no clue what we're doing here first huh Vic? We know, what we're doing. <laughs> we know what we're doing, but we don't know what we're gonna do first. Yeah. We're trying, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So That's we don't know, later. yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, man, we'll show you. I guess once we figure out what we're gonna do first. So, we decided what we're gonna do first, which was wire up this speaker. We just took this one out to make sure how it was, see how it was wired. And they already wired it up from the inside of the box. All right, just gonna hook it up back here. On the back of the actual terminals, well, whatever you want to call this. Cool. So, so you might see a little difference in both speakers. This is just a newer speaker. It's the same model speaker. Yeah. Just Newer. Just a newer one. Newer, newer design. Look. There you go. Yeah. This is the OG right here. Yeah. Cool. I guess uh, screw them up. Everything's all mixed and match. Well, it's probably like the the amp and shit. What do you mean? I mean, it's not like <laughs> not like that. But I mean, like it's not like it's not kicker amp. You know what I'm saying? It's a different amp. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people like to match their stuff. Yeah. I mean, it don't matter. We just want some bang. Yeah, that don't matter. Yeah, we ain't going to competition. Yeah, this ain't no competition. So some of y'all might even see this video. I'm like, oh, why'd y'all wire it up this way? Or why are y'all using this wiring kit? Don't matter, man. It's going to work. Got to stay tuned. Yeah. All right, so like we are saying in another clip, as far as the power cable, we did uh, pretty much go from an old existing hole that we had up there at the bottom. And we're going to end up running it across. I know I didn't want to do it this way, but we really didn't want to drill a new hole on this side, and you know what I mean. So, but we're gonna wrap it in the black loom, just like you see the other one, the other line. So we're gonna wrap it in black loom, so it's not gonna stay like this. Zip tie it up, black loom, and then try to tuck it and connect it into the power. So we're looking at it, and right here where we have this is a big truck. This is all we got. Also, like we got left of power, so we're not gonna be able to make it all the way to the back. We could extend it, 
but uh if we have to we're going to but we're gonna try to mount the amp right underneath the seat and see if we could find a ground somewhere in there and if we can then shit we're good we'll just we'll just mount the amp around down here we ain't gotta extend nothing and i don't think we would have to extend well not extend but run the uh actual speaker cable the ones that connect from the app onto the side of the speakers so that's where we're at right now and then after that i guess i'm gonna start running the eca uh ecas the rcas onto the uh, run them underneath and everything and then you know connect them up to the to the stereo all right so my brother went ahead and extended this I said it's not finished, nothing like that, nothing zip tied, hooked up. We just wanted to hurry up and have the slack for it so that I could start running the power all the way to the back to the where the amp's gonna be. So we did it. He just uh, pretty much did it off the fuse, a lot easier. Just ran it like that. And I'm already starting to run all the wiring as far as the power. Here's your power, your remote. And your RCAs. So I'm just tuck everything up underneath the uh, these little panels right here, and run all the way to the back. And my brother's gonna go ahead and start taking this part, the CD player, so we can hook up the remote and the RCAs, and then we put the new bezel back on there. So that's where we're at right now, boys. All right, guys. What's so up? my brother's uh, tucking the wire on the side of the truck through all the panels and stuff having a hard time yeah didn't really realize how long this truck was yeah. <laughs> until now but uh, anyways um got everything connected here as far as the remote wire got to hook up rcas we ran into a snag <laughs> this radio right here <laughs> it only has one input for the sub so uh, we got to split this connection with a Y RCA splitter. So we're going to have to go buy one real quick and split this connection. And then we'll be able to connect both our male RCAs. I've never seen something like this. It's just a little cheap radio too. So we always use Pioneer radios and they have the, both of the inputs for the sub feature but not this one so yeah we're gonna have to split this connection and uh just want to update you guys all right guys so we pretty much put this plastic cover on the uh power wire power cable we're running it across we're zip tying everything where my brother is <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we have right now we just got the cable we needed let me show you what that looks like If you guys ever come across this problem with one sub input, this is the cable you need. RCA wide adapter, it splits it. So yeah, we're running the power in the front. Everything's ran. My brother's making it look pretty. And we're gonna connect it over here. That's pretty much where we're at, boys. This one's ready. All right, guys, so we're getting our amp ready to go. We've got it all wired up. We haven't finished tucking everything all nice and neat, but we just want to test it before we uh, put everything up nice and neat. But everything's connected to the amp. We're trying to find a ground source. You found one? You say you found yeah, one? Yeah, but I think I'm going to be Let me see what you got. Okay. Right there. Well, that's perfect. Yeah, but that, that ain't gonna reach. Um. We need a lot of slack, huh? Anyways, let's uh figure that out. I guess um we'll go from there. Yep. All right, so change of plans on mounting the amp back here. We're going to just end up putting it underneath the seat. And we found a ground right underneath this carpet is a bolt. 
I'm not gonna do all that. Are we there's a ball right here. We shot on the other clip, right? I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. uh. Right here where the seat's at, that one right there. So we found the ground there and we ran all the wires so the amps are end up going here. So don't mind all this mess, this is just we're about to test. So we should be going hot right now. Everything's connected. RCAs, power, ground, okay. Test it out, Vic. Alright. So it should light up right or what? Alright, here we go. It's red. Yep. What's that? Tools fell? You got it? Oh, goddamn. <laughs> My brother's wife just scared. We heard, we heard some kind of commotion in the front. We left some tools under the hood. Yeah, we left some tools underneath the house. Like, man, something blow up. Alright, we got ready. You can't really see it on camera, but we're red. We're red, huh? Little fan. Yep. Alright. So. Disconnected? Are you connected? No, I don't think she's connected. Yeah, she's connected. Alright. We're just gonna play something real quick. Go in the back seat for some. Alright. Well, the amp's on, so that's good. Guys, so we testing out the audio now. Fucking light, lights are dimming. Huh? The lights are dimming. Alright, so I got the gain at three quarters. We're gonna uh, leave that. Let's let's keep hearing it. Hold on. Just adjusting the base levels on the actually actual amp. So, so we're doing right now, boys. What you think? Alright, we'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. So we got everything finished up. You, you could tell the sun kind of went down on us, so I mean, bear with me. I'm dark as hell too, so you could probably barely see me on camera. But we finished up the truck. Let me see him get this camera turned around. Everything's done. Everything's nice and wired up. Ran everything to the bottom. So like I said, we were gonna put the amp in the back to begin with, but we just ended up running it right here. Grounds right here, so everything was accessible. So the amp's on. 6,000 watt app, DS18. Everything up here is finished up. New bezel, stereo. What do you think, Julie? Yeah. Good to go? <laughs> and we're gonna turn it up a little bit. Show the speakers in the back. All right, can't see nothing. Hold on. Yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it. Just gotta put this seat back down. So, Dang. there we go. Try to get this camera to turn around. Chat right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, not sure what's gonna come up next on this one. Mm -hmm. Not sure. What do you want next? Headlights. Headlights. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, maybe maybe some headlights, some uh, aftermarket headlights or whatnot. Cause we already got the tail lights in the back, so. Yeah, man, we'll see. And maybe some stuff for the court. Who knows? Uh, still, Also, still stay tuned. Stay tuned for my brother's uh, Silverado. Still waiting on that to get painted. So, yeah, man. Check, guys. Hope you guys liked that video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll catch you on the next one.